What's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel, just another fan TV. Back at another video. If you like the content in this video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you like the content of this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Uh, so look, no Ravens training camp update today. So we're gonna talk about something else. So I want to ask the Ravens like a question. Can we talk about wide receivers, right? Our favorite topic to talk about, our favorite position group to go over and pull our hair out over. Can we talk about wide receivers, right? Um, basically, it came up because I was I was watching the Pivot podcast. They had on the Bengals trio of wide receivers that gained some traction on Twitter. They said he was calling the Ravens out because um, you know they were talking about bombing on teams and how easy it was last year for them. You know, cool. You know, they beat the Ravens twice. They they had a good season. They went to the Super Bowl. All great for the Bengals. You know what I'm saying? Let let them talk. It's cool. I, I didn't really care about that part. The part I cared about was more about, oh, wow, they have these receivers and the Ravens don't have any. So this is this is my thing. This is my thing, right? I am not an anti-get-a-receiver guy. I need The Ravens should get another receiver. They need it for depth, and they need it just for a veteran presence to add some, some impact. My, the guy I want is Will Fuller. But that's not really what this is about. It's more about the fact that I think we get too caught up when we look at the Bengals and we think that that's every team in the NFL. Right. So what I did was I went through like I went through every single team in the NFL. Right. I went through and I went through their receiving course. And basically what I was looking for, who was a threat out there? When I say a threat, this is this. This is a player who was an established NFL player. So rookie's not going to be on here. Like I think Drake London is going to be good. I think Trey Burks is going to be good. I think Garrett Wilson is going to be good. Chris Olave on and on. Those guys, I'm not talking about those guys. They haven't done it on the NFL level yet. I can't say that they're going to be good players because I don't know yet. It was all projection, right? So I'm not I'm not counting those guys just yet. And I'm not just kind of, oh, wow, this guy's fast. You got to watch out for him. You know, like a guy like a Rondell Moore, who's a good player, but that's not kind of what I'm talking about, right? I'm talking about established receivers. You got to count for them on the, on the game plan. You know, good NFL receivers, that's like, when you think about this team, they come to mind. Oh, yeah, he, he he's a threat. I went through all 32 teams. The Bengals are in... A, a, a different class, all right? I'm just going to be honest. Boyd, Chase, and Higgins, three uh, actual threats of receiver is rare. There's only one other team that competes with the Bengals in that, and they're actually above the Bengals. And that's the time where Buccaneers, Buccaneers have four threats of receiver, right? Uh, uh, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, um, Russell Gage, and obviously they just signed Julio Jones, all right? 16 teams, from my count, you know, everybody can, everybody can classify what is a threat differently. But 16 teams, from my count, had two wide receiver threats on their team, okay? Two guys, I said, these guys are legitimate threats. And then I had another eight teams that had one threat at receiver. Then I think that left about five guys, or five teams, with, with I, where I said they had no threats at receiver, right? I'm not, and I'm not counting the Ravens in this mix. My, my point being is this. If you ask me, the Ravens had one threat of receiver, and that's Rashad Bateman, right? That, that I'm going to physically count on paper because Prochet and Duvain don't fit the criteria that I said earlier. The Ravens only need one uh, one more guy to be into that two receiver tier of they have two threats of receiver, okay? And James Prochet could be that guy. Devin Duvain could, could be that guy. But it's like the frustrating part is, right, I look on Twitter and I see this. If the Ravens court, pro, uh, Ravens wide receivers have a good day, nobody talks about it. It's practice. It is what it is. You know, they're supposed to do that, right? Then yesterday, Ravens wide receivers struggled a little bit. The offense struggled as a whole. And I see, see, this is why the Ravens are going to lose in the playoffs, man. They ain't got no receivers. They ain't no time on the receiver outside, outside of Bateman. And I, I just get confused by the back and forth, the the changing that, that we do as far as what we think about our receiving court. Because this is this is why. Last year we saw Bateman go down with an injury, and I left with Hollywood uh, and Watkins. Right when Watkins was out, young guys played a little bit. We like what we saw. Prochet had a good Denver game. Uh, Duvernay when actually used as a receiver, you know, first like the um, who was it? The, the the Lions caught a good touchdown pass on third down. So we can see these guys play. Right, we saw that. Then, you know, Watkins goes out, he's hurt, whatever, da, da, da. Watkins comes back. I see Ravens fans clamoring for, let the young guys play. The young guys been doing okay. Let them play. We let Watkins go this offseason. Or don't let him go, whatever. We, we don't resign, however you want to phrase it. Okay? It's time for the young guys to play. 
The same young guys we were calling for last year, Tylen Wallace, Devin Duvernay, James Prochet. It's time for them to play. And now all of a sudden it's, man, what are we doing? Ravens have no threat to wide receiver. They're so behind. Now listen, listen, like I said, I'm not a guy that said I don't want the Ravens to add a receiver. I think the Ravens should add a receiver. But I'm also not going to be the same guy who gives you these training camp updates every day and hear James Prochet making plays every day. Hear Devin DuVernay doing the same thing every day, right? And then be like, well, the Ravens don't have a chance because they have nobody out there. I, I just get so confused because we've seen these guys play. We've seen Prochet have a good game versus Denver, have a good game versus Cincinnati when he got the snaps. We've seen Devin DuVernay. Am I the only person that watched Devin DuVernay play? And every time he touched the ball, it seemed like it was going for seven yards, right? Whether it was jet sweeps, end rounds, whatever. I didn't like seeing him used it that way because I knew he could be so much more than just a guy who ran jet sweeps. The Ravens have talent at receiver. Honestly, they really do. They really do. This, this idea that we're just going to get all these receivers in here and they're all going to be the Bengals or be the Buccaneers, it's not realistic, dog. What's realistic? I'm looking at the list. What is realistic is to have two receivers that are threats. We're not talking about tight ends. I got to mention it earlier. We're not talking about tight ends. We're talking about strictly wide receivers, right? What's realistic is to have two wide receivers who are threats on the field. That's realistic. That's what... I'm looking at the list. As, as to my count, that's what 16 teams have. Only one team in the Bengals has three. Only one team in the Buccaneers has four. Okay? And you could throw, I could have thrown the Rams in there, but they don't have OBJ right now, so I, 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 I can't put them in there, right? Because, you know, Cooper Cup, A-Rob, OBJ, that's obviously three, but OBJ's not on the team. All right? You got to you got, we got to be realistic and we got to be honest. Most NFL teams, good or bad, are going to have two legitimate wide receiver threats, which means, in my opinion, the Ravens only need one more. Bateman, there's there's no argument amongst Ravens fans whether or not Rashad Bateman is good, okay? Um, and there shouldn't be. I think he's fantastic. I think he's going to be a good wide receiver one. But after we get past that, it's when the doubt comes in. And I get it. We haven't seen the guys play in a complete season. But let's give them the chance to play that season. We can't say we wanted to see these guys last year. And now, when it's their time to step up, when it's their time to play, oh, man, what are the Ravens doing? We don't got nobody. We can't, I, can't, I can't watch these guys play. When James Prochet is literally catching everything in training camp, then you're going to hit me with the, well, he's always been a good training camp player. Yeah, he has been. How about the Ravens put him on the field so he could do it in the regular season? Why are we blaming James Prochet when we know that the Ravens sometimes bring players along slowly and don't play the young guys sometimes? We know that. Listen, I've been a Ravens fan for a long time. All right. One of the best receiving cores I saw was the one, well, potentially was the one we could have had last year. Bateman, Hollywood, Watkins, right? Three guys at that position who I all thought were legitimate threats and talents. And it didn't work out. Bateman got hurt. Watkins got hurt. And Hollywood had a really good season. You know, one of you know, a thousand yards for the first time in a long time for a Ravens receiver. Okay, um, this year you lose Hollywood, you got Bateman stepping up. Let's see what the other guys can do before we kept, before we write off the entire season, right? So when I said, can we talk about wide receivers? Can we have an honest conversation about why we were clamoring for them last year, and now when it's their time to play, it's all of a sudden we don't want them anymore. We don't want wide receivers. We don't want these guys to play. Get somebody else. That it just doesn't make sense to me. The Ravens need to add a player. They do, absolutely. Like I said, I would go for Will Fuller. I would. But let's not act like we have we we given these guys a chance to play and they've ultimately failed. It's just not the truth. It's not the truth, bro. When 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 we look at when I look at the Ravens playoff losses, why receiver plays a fact in it? Of course. But the whole damn team played a fact in it. I watched the 2019 Titans game. I watched that team be down for one of the first times in that season and panic, get away from the game plan, right? I watched 2020, the following season. That team almost panicked again to versus the Titans, but they pulled it together. They did. But then I watched that same team have go, go to Buffalo, miss, miss field goals, drop passes, not by the wide receivers, J.K. Dobbins, right? We remember that, okay? Lamar throws a pick six. I love Lamar Jackson. He, he did throw that ball. 
the play before that, I believe, I think it might have been exactly one play before that. Hollywood was wide open in the corner of the end zone, but the offensive line doesn't pick up the block or or the running back doesn't pick up the free rusher. Lamar Jackson gets hit. He can't hit Hollywood in the back of the end zone for a touchdown, which would have changed the game. All right. The biggest problem I see for the Ravens in the playoffs is honestly, they get there, something goes wrong, and they panic. That's it. That's honestly what I see. It's not about they don't have no talent at receiver. The pass game is too is too bad. I'm not a fan of Greg Roman, so don't don't take this as a Greg Roman defense. It's not. They get to the playoffs and they panic. If the Ravens don't, if the Ravens get to the playoffs and don't panic, they beat the, they probably beat the Titans in 2019. They may beat the Bills in 2020, right? And last year, you know, obviously we didn't get in there. So when we had this conversation about wide receivers, we 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 hinged the whole team on wide receivers, bro. We got to stop looking at what the Bengals have, okay? We're not the Bengals, bro. Most NFL teams, I'll come back to this and I'll keep saying this, have two legitimate threats at wide receiver. If Bateman is one, we just need Pro Share Dume to be another one, bro. And in this kind of offense, a legitimate threat is a guy that can get you from 500 to 800 yards. Why can't James Pro Share do that? Why can't Devin Duvernay do that? Let me know why. When all they've done... In this training camp, it's beat who's in front of them most days. Most days. Everybody is subject to have bad days. Even the Chiefs offense that we love so much and this and that, 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 that oh, great offense, high flying. I guarantee you look at their training camp reports, they ain't winning every day. If you look at the Rams training camp reports, I guarantee you that offense isn't winning every day. The Ravens have a good defense. And when the Ravens' defense plays well, we are like, we're surprised. Oh, my gosh. They shut down our receivers. What's going on? You know why? Why are we acting like that? I'm not asking. I'm not asking Ravens fans to to put on the blinders and say this wide receiver core is perfect. We don't need anybody. That's not. That's not what I'm asking you to do. What I'm asking is to be objective and say we were clamoring for these guys last year. When they played, they made plays. Simple as that. When when we needed them to step up, they did. When they were called upon to get on the field, I never thought, dang, James Pro State can't get open. Devin Duvin, they can't get open. I know I saw those guys get open and they make plays, bro. I did. So from an objective standpoint, I'm just asking that we give these guys a chance to show and prove. If they can't do it, the Ravens will get somebody. Who would that be? I don't know. The Ravens will get somebody. Is that the best resource? Who knows? But all I'm saying is this, bro. We complain and complain and complain about wide receiver, and it's and it's just is. But this ain't the this ain't the old Ravens. The Ravens did something they haven't done since I can't remember being a Ravens fan. They they actually invested in wide receiver, drafting Rashad Bateman in the first round, drafting Hollywood in the first round, drafting Duvernay, drafting Tylen Wallace. Now Prochet's a sixth round pick. That's more in line with the Ravens do. Draft wide receiver in the sixth round, seventh round. That's more that's more in line with what they do. But over these, since Eric Costa has been in charge, we can't say he hasn't tried. And I know trying isn't everything. You actually got to show and prove and do it. I get that. But let's give these guys a chance to play, man. That's all I wanted to say. Ravens flop. Can we talk about wide receivers? Can we can we actually look at these guys and say, they putting it out there on the field. Everybody's not going to have a great practice every day. We just heard about Lamar Jackson having not, not, the, not his best practice yesterday. Is he a bad quarterback? No, of course not. He had a bad day. So, when the Ravens wide receivers have a bad day at training camp, it's a bad day. When they have a good day at training camp, let's say that. They had a good day. I seen Prochet go up on top of three people make a play. On top of Queen uh, uh, Hamilton and Geno Stone and make a play. I seen it. Rashad Bateman made a play. Before Devin Newton went out with the hip uh, injury, not hip injury, sorry, the thigh injury, he was doing, he was making plays. Let's see what these guys can do on the field before we just write it off. As we got nothing, season's a bust, da 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 we're going to lose in the playoffs. Let's see what these guys can do. All these draft picks, I think I look at a guy like Gabriel Davis. Fourth round draft pick. He might not have been playing right away at the Ravens. He might not have been. But you know what they did? They, they, gave him, they gave him a chance to put him on the field, and he balled out. So let's give our guys the same courtesy, man. That's all I wanted to say, man. Ravens, Fox, let's, let's support the receivers. Let's see what they do. And I think they're going to make us proud. It's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.